Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a new laser cutter, and it's in a box. Friends, time to assemble, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so this is the Ortur Laser Master 2. It is, it is obviously a kit, so let's see what's in the box. This is the first time I've had a laser that I had to assemble. My Glowforge and my OMT lasers came pretty much ready to use, just had to set them up. Manual, we'll start there. Special manual for the laser, double check that as well. I'm assuming these are for testing. And here are our parts. There's the laser module, safety glasses, wall wart, 2020 stock. This is the control mechanism. And of course we've got all wrenches and bolts, brackets to make it more sturdy. That is a end stop. All right, friends, so let's dive in the manual and get this critter built. Friends, step one is to attach Y to X. Notice Y is longer. Make sure you find the side that has the open hole. It is going to attach right here, but we also slide in this sweet bracket. There is a tab on one side, but not on the other. This goes in the X side. It'll only slide to the end of that tab. And then Y can slide past it. And then you can attach it with your M25 and a Phillips head screwdriver. And then we're going to repeat it for the other side of X as well. Once again, make sure you've got the tabs on the X side. That way the Y can slide past. And you can connect it with that M25. Just like that. There is an included Allen wrench, but I find these to be way more efficient for tightening in the grub screws. I'm going to just get them close to tight right now, and we'll lock them in when I've got all four attached. With both X's attached, remember they're the smaller ones, find four of these and slide two on the outside, making sure that when you slide them on, you've got the little groove of the T-nut facing outwards. And let's put two over here too. Remember these are on X, you can double check that you got X by noting that there's less aluminum on the other side. Now, we can attach Y with the same technique. First, find the fins, slide them in the X side, slide Y in and past, and attach it with your M25. Same thing other side, making sure you put the tab in the X side, and then find your last. M25, M825, and attach it. And then tighten up all your grub screws. Friends, with it assembled, let's spin it around. Make sure we've got the zero zeros and we're ready to add the gantry. Since this is your zero zero, you want to find the front plate so that way you've got it lined up and then we can just slide it on just like that. Now the first part we're going to install is on the back, so make sure you spin it around so you've got your back facing you and then make sure you can also find these two nuts because that's what we're going to use. We need to find two of our base anchors. Remember, if you can't find a part, check over here at the parts list. They are, they are easier to spot that way. Make sure you find your M5 8mm screws and two of the washers. We also need to track down our timing belts. They were in this packet right here. They are wrapped kind of tightly. Friends, let's attach the belts first. Uh, go over and under. And I found that if I got one through, I could push and it would pop out the back. And then if you've got needle those pliers, that's an easier way to grab it. 
pull it all the way to the back and then I'm going to feed this through past and do the same thing going to the front making sure that you've got the little teeth down on that gear that's running through that way and then pull that back remember this is the back of the machine we're going to leave just a little bit poking out and do the same thing on the other side once again over and under that one popped up so it's just easy to grab over and under I can slide it through if you give yourself a little slack it'll give you the little bump that you can then push it further through so you can get a good grip on it it just popped through a little bit of pull and let's bring that up to the front of and let's bring that to the back as well so now that we've got our belts it's time to attach these feet we're gonna bring the belt through I'm gonna emphasize once again it is teeth down and over here use an M5 8 millimeter and a washer to lock that in place and once again these attach with a standard Phillips screwdriver same thing on the other side once again got my M8 and my spacer as they call it or a washer as we call it push the belt through gonna say it one more time teeth down use my little allen wrench to push that to the right spot grab another of those m58 millimeters and let's tighten it in alright let's bring it to this side once again my favorite use it seems for the allen wrench is to push that to the location where it's in the right spot and quickly get an M58 millimeter in there as well. Once again, put the belt through, teeth down, find your M8 screw, and let's tighten it in. Start it just a little bit, tighten it one or two turns, and then pull your tighten belt so it's tight. You don't want it too tight or too loose because you could have issues when you are cutting once you do have it in place leave it just like that we will trim it later let's slide this into place like we did before and tighten in the last m5 8 millimeter nut all right friends we've got the front right done time to move to the front left we're going to find two more of these boat nuts and slide them in now friends it's time to track down the Y limit switch make sure the switch is to the left side of your hand slide the belt through the hole once again teeth down and then we want to attach it so that that limit switch lines up with zero with a couple of the M5 8 millimeter nuts once again I'm gonna use this to line them up And then also put one up here that locks the belt in tight. Remember, you want to have your belt tension before you do it. And you're still trying to get just the right amount of tension. Not too tight, not too loose. Friends, it is time to install the motherboard. Make sure you slide that over so that you can find it and it doesn't get lost behind you. I'm going to tighten it a little bit first. And then slide over and use the one that is part of the frame. All right, flip it upside down for a second, and they want you to find your, they call it a loom. It's going to be the drag chain, and this attaches up through, so it comes down out this way. Thread the T-nut a little, and then we can slide it in with the drag chain outside the machine, and tighten it in. All right, friends, I've turned it to the side, and then right down here is where we attach the back bracket of the loom or the cable holder and it attaches just like that easy peasy now it's time to attach the drive chain let's start up front notice I've already got the screw in here because I found it easier to do before I put it on the 
bracket. Once I've got one in, I think it'll be a lot easier to get the second one. And there we go. Let's extend the cable and make sure that we can get this so it reaches. And we'll attach it right now just so we've got that taken care of. And then we can come to the back. And once again, I've got those screws inserted so that I can pull the cable out of the way and get this attached as well. I'm going to make sure I get them both started before I tighten them in. And while we're right here, note let's attach X to X and let's also attach Y to Y. While we're over here, let's connect the red one to the one where the red button is closest to. And let's slide the black one on top of the second one. And then I'm going to loosen this and attach the ground terminal to that one. Spin it around and it is time to add a laser module. It slides on just like this and with that tiny screw. Okay friends, find the cable for connecting. Loosen this screw right here so that you can ground it. Make sure when you do tighten this up, you don't tighten it, tighten it too much and break the acrylic or whatever that is made of. And then attach your laser cable there and use this last connector to connect those. And once again, we already connected all of those. Up here in the front, we plugged in the first cable. Now we also need to do the limit switch here. Remember the red goes where the button is, which is on this side of mine. Make sure you get that close. And then the black one will go in the middle. And then loosen one of the nuts to tighten in the ground connector. So to make this easier, I did unplug this and boom, tighten that one in. And now it's easy to reattach. Let's lock the drag chain in place with a couple zip ties. Also up here. Make sure you zip tie this wire in place as well. There are two little holes to hold it. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the black wire, not the thin wires that are underneath. And then friends, make a U with the laser wire and we're going to zip tie it as well. Make sure you bring this around the right side of the laser module though, so that way it'll be able to move up and down freely without bumping into the rest of the mechanism. Alrighty, as you can see we made it home. I do not have enough room for this. Uh, but this is where we're going to start out with it as we figure out where it works better. Uh, one thing I adjusted when I did the cable tie, I had to move it to this side so that we can adjust it up and down. Uh, when I first did it, I put it on the back. Um, got it plugged in. They say it's going to spark. I'm going to press that in and, and take off the emergency stop. They say this sparks quite often. There was a tiny spark. Let's hold the power on for five seconds. And there is the auto homing mechanism. Friends, we built a laser. How cool is that? So there you have it, friends. Simple steps to assemble the Orter Laser Master Pro 2. Friends, make sure you stay tuned as I'll be putting out videos soon for how to get your first cuts. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button 
And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.